return, I return. Let me make sure this damn mic is not too loud. I return, I return. And I, um... <laughs> what, what a hellacious return. Because this one is a new... I don't know if it's a new low or a new high. You know, when you think of the greatest trolls in history, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel. The greatest trolls in history... If there was like a, a troll draft, the number one pick is Lucifer. And then like number two would be like Daylight, uh, Officer Danny, 6'9". Um, you know, them Transformers, you know, Bruce Jenner, <laughs> great trolls. Men, uh, chicks with dicks. Um, speaking of that, uh, is this a Tay Rock video? Um, and then right in the top five picks, I think he's, he might have moved in the top three now. Is Whack No Hunted, aka Whack 100, aka uh, Coffee Cake Face, Clay Face, Cash Jones. And he was gonna use his alleged cash to take trolling to a new level. Now, Whack No Hundred is someone who allegedly was affiliated with a street organization. You can't say certain words on YouTube. And somehow he, he parlayed that into driving Suge Knight's trucks or he used to fold Suge's draws in the 90s or 2003. I, I think, you know what? I think Wack 100, I think he got around Suge Knight when Suge had the row. The row. Damn, it's like Suge Knight. It's just, he, he, he had an empire. He truly had an empire. He went from having death row to having the row. Oh, God. Tupac and Snoop and Sam Snee. Sam Snee was cold. Then they whooped his ass. Uh, Dr. Dre. <laughs> he shot at Michelet. Uh, that, that, I got a Dr. Dre video. That, that's coming up soon. But um, Suge Knight just... But but they took it from him. They took it from him. Jimmy Iovine. Jimmy Iovine should be in prison. Not Suge Knight. Suge Knight's situation, he was, he was set up. But at some point... And imagine how down on his luck that he was that there was a point where Suge Knight is surrounded by Reggie Wright Jr. and Whack 100. Wow, you talk about a fall off a cliff. And then Whack 100, he somehow turns meeting Suge into some sort of affiliation with Ray J, you know, Brandy's brother, Dorian, D-Money. Man, when Ray J was on Moesha, he had the cleanest iceberg pants you ever seen he had the cleanest fubu jerseys you ever seen and whack 100 who somehow gets money i still don't know how because from what i see his artists they're all in shambles this one's in, in the penitentiary this one is running from some vh game is running from some vh1 broad he didn't want to show up in court so now he has to put all his material under his uh whack 100's name i don't even like saying this monkey stage name this dude, this guy got his name because he he allegedly sucker punched some fool with stitches or name stitches, some some racist fruitcake in Florida, whatever. Um, and then he's game's manager, but then game never checks him on the nonsense he says. I don't want to go through all this, but I will eat off his carcass. You know, Wack 100, he'll probably be up out of here a few years. He's someone who, you know, on the Internet, if you just hear him speak, he talk like he's six foot eight. 300 pounds, but in real life, he's 5'2". He, he, he's 5'3", five 5'2". Foot five foot like, but he talks in his... He clearly has a Napoleon complex. He talks like he's built like LeBron James, but he's even shorter than Muggsy Bogues. I don't get that. But uh, nigga shit. Um, did you hit the like button? And Wack 100 through his... I guess if you want to call it a rise. To me, he didn't rise to the top. He, he rose to the middle. But... um. Along the way, he, he has this like um, abnormal obsession with trying to tear down Tupac Shakur, the late great. And um, and Wack 100, he's another thing. Why does he always have videos and photos of men in compromising positions? Why, first of all, how does he get them? Why does he have them? And why do you keep them? Why, why would a straight man want to have video and pictures of other men doing alleged fruity things? Why does he always possess these things? And why is he so proud to have them? I think that, forget forget June, I think every day of the, of the year is, is uh, his rainbow parade. 
But um, and th- maybe that's why he talks that tough. Now, he was on the clubhouse with his cheeks in the air, his feet dangling, air drying, talking to men. So, yeah, Wack 100 is a fruitcake, and that's probably why he's in this industry. Because them people have to be funding him, keeping him around, because what talent does he have? He He's damn near the West Coast Puffy. Wack 100, just like Puff Daddy, Wack 100, what's his talent? Is he a rapper? No. Can he sing? No. Can he pop lock? Maybe in the 80s. Is he a bodyguard? No. He's a manager. Okay. Um, and what does he manage to do? A manager is someone who prolongs your career. Who's he done that for? What artist has he built? But through all this, he has this weird obsession with uh, Tupac Shakur and He's taken trolling to a new low, or is it a new high? I don't know. Keefy D, this moron. And what is with these West Coast? What, they, they, man, yeah. oh, I'm, oh, man, I'm going to rant on the West Coast. The, these West Coast dudes, uh, Keefy D is the, is the uh, individual who's allegedly in the car the night uh, Machiavelli was hit up again. And he went on to write books admitting to this. Why would you admit to this? Was he that stupid? You you, you believe you you I don't see this. Is what I understand about these 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 gang members, you grow up in this whole mind effery, you have all these rules, but then you go against your so called cult rules, so you're involved in this uh, tragedy, you moron, and then you write a book about it, and then you go on Vlad TV stinking ass. And then you go on Cam Capone, and then you go on Art of Dialogue, and then you go on Queen's Flip, and then you go on. And is he so stupid he thinks, well, Greg Kading told me that if I say this here, it don't matter no more, and I'll get immunity. It's the police. Of, of all people to never believe the police, wouldn't it be someone who's, who? Oh, God. You have police on the internet talking about Keefe D's an idiot. You have police calling him a rat. That is the funniest thing on this YouTube. You have cops calling people rats. That is hysterical. So, uh, Keefe D, I don't know, did he think, well, I'm doing an interview. Damn. 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 I'm doing interviews, and I'm wearing sunglasses, so maybe they can't tell who it is. Th- this man had, well, someone, someone give him an IQ test. He's clearly an imbecile. I know he got streaks in his draws. Like the dark green earth tone, like like the goose shit. Like I, I know. Come on, man. I, I know he got stains in his boxes. You just look at he looked dusty. Even in the pictures of him in back in the day where he has jewelry. How you how you how you dress clean but you look dirty? He, he's like Jim Jones. You ever seen Jim Jones clean? How you got matted braids for 30 years? Oh my god. So Wack 100 takes this. You can donate to the Cash App. It's uh, dollar sign XDN online. It's in the description of this video. If you enjoy this content, enjoy this channel. Um, check out my other channels too in the description. My sports channel. I talk the same way, just about sports. And uh, my gaming channel and so on. My music channel so on and so forth. It's all in the description of this video. Um, also, you can hit the super thanks, super like. That's on if you want to uh, donate that way or support the channel, whatever. But um, so uh, Keith Davis... I don't, he goes on these interviews, it just made no sense. He's doing interview after interview, and he's breaking down, well, we caught Tupac like this, and I passed this to this, and we did this, and then Orlando did this, and then some big hefty mother... Why? And, and you know, these interviews, they, they you know, if you, if you don't know the story, you might be like, oh my God, this man was a part of this, and he talked about it? Okay, let me go see it. But if you actually go watch his interviews, they're really not entertaining. It's really disgusting. It's like he wasn't even he wasn't he wasn't even entertaining telling these stories. He just looked like a fool. Because he is one. And uh he will burn in the hellfire one day eventually. And um You know, he was alleged to have ties with Puffy and I don't even want to get into all that nonsense. You should know the story. But Whack One Hunted and, and the only thing I can think of is he's trolling. That's the only thing I could think of. He's trolling. This case has nothing to do with him. Like everything else. 
It has nothing to do with him, but he's getting involved in it. Speaking on something is one thing. Breaking something down, you know, that's one thing. But actually getting involved in it, that's outrageous. And he shows up at this court hearing and, and WAC 100 goes on Vlad talking about, yeah, I'm 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 a bail out Keefe D. I'm, I'm I don't think he did it. He's lying. I don't think he was involved. He's lying. And he lies at the court when the court the people in the court say, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, are you sure you don't have some sort of deal lined up where you you do a TV show with Mr. Davis? He says, no, uh, no, no, you know it's not, it's not, it's not. And then they play a clip of him saying the exact same thing on Vlad TV. So he's caught lying in the court, and. <laughs> Keefe D's bail to get out is seven hundred and fifty thousand, and he was <laughs> he was willing to pay a small percentage to bail him out. Why? First of all, first of all, if this even happened, who wants to watch a Keefe D TV show about what? A movie about what? Who who is going to go to the theater or Tubi and watch an Orlando Anderson movie? What is it going to be about? great it's going to be another version of snowfall and why no one needs it i made this video a few months ago with 50 cent 50 cent keeps with this obsession of let's do bmf and let's do these 80s narcotic story why it's played out how many times are you going to do a movie or tv show about cocaine and, and and why it's played out look at the ratings of these shows you can't tell me i'm wrong but let's read this article from 8 News Now, Las Vegas KLAS, a judge declined to immediately release the man accused of orchestrating the downfall of Tupac Shakur, citing concerns over the source of his bail. I mean, this is just trolling. Wack 100 shows up. He's on the screen. He's trying to talk real. Oh, it's, it, you know what's funny? Negroes, how the Negroes humble themselves. You never seen Wack 100 talk this respectfully. Oh, of course he's gonna talk that way. No, of course he's in he's in a courtroom. Why? Why? He talked all this. It don't nothing. It, uh, cops don't matter. The law don't matter. But he was real humble and trying to manipulate people to get Keefe D out to do a movie on Tubi. Why? <laughs> what money does he think is in Keith Davis? There is none. He's no body of any actual substance. You're not going to tell a story that's not known. They already did the Tupac movie. It was terrible. They already did the Biggie movie. It was. Eh. They did the documentaries. You're not going to get nothing. You're not going to get no money out of this. And then Wack 100. I mean, even to take his trolling to a further degree, they ask Wack 100. So um, we understand you're a music manager. You're in entertainment. And Wack 100 says, No, no, I'm, I'm no, no, I'm, I'm getting up out of that. Yeah, I have a diaper business with Nick Cannon. He he does have a diaper. Wack 100 went from the rap industry to cleaning up infant shit, and he has a diaper business called Incredible Diapers. He lies and says, "Oh, I'm not. I'm getting out of entertainment." You know, he, and he and he goes and says, "Well, all my interviews is entertainment and fake, and you can't believe me on No Jumper." First of all, no one believes you, but um, so that wasn't breaking news. But it's just it's just ridiculous. And this this attempt did not work. They denied him. He tried to he he has this obsession. He's the biggest Tupac groupie, the same way Fifty Cent is the biggest uh, Ja Rule groupie and Puffy groupie. Wack One Hundred is a Tupac Shakur groupie. Come on, man. He got the he got the the Machiavelli poster in his bedroom. Come on, man. Um, he got death row draws on. Oh my God! <sighs> Hit the like button. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Um, during a hearing Tuesday, Clark County District Court Judge Carly Kearney heard arguments from prosecutors and the 61 year old Dwayne Keith D or Keefe D Davis Cash Jones, an entertainment manager. <laughs> A clubhouse aficionado, who also goes by the name Wack 100, posted 50% of Davis's $750,000 bail, the amount required to post a bond with the aid of a bail bond company. What is this dog? Where's Dog the Bounty Hunter? Another bigot. Prosec like Eminem. Prosecutor said Jones wanted to record interviews with Davis both pre and post release, which would violate Kearney's. Request Davis not profit from his statements.
What does he th- Jones wanted to record interviews with Davis pre and post. What is what is he gonna what? Okay, in a, in a new KVD interview, what is he gonna say that he hasn't already said? What is he gonna say? What information he's gonna give? Oh oh, I I was lying the whole time. Like, what is he gonna say? What 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 is to profit you off of getting Keith Davis out? This is just this is a no level of trolling. Daylight could not come up with this. This is another level. This is Hall of Fame level trolling. This is all Madden level trolling. It goes on to say, Las Vegas Metro. Police arrested Davis on September 23rd, or September 29th, 2023, rather, near his Henderson home. A lot of big head streetwalkers live around Henderson and Summerlin. I hear. The day before, a grand jury indicted him on a charge of murking with a deadly weapon with gang enhancement. Davis has remained incarcerated at the Clark County Detention Center since his arrest. When setting bail, Kearney said that Davis come up with the money. She, okay. And here's here's the the final nail of stupidity. Davis, this, this, this the two questions. Whack one hundred. It, it just has to be trolling. But then number one question, it will never make any sense. Why did this Keefe D guy go on camera admitting to these things in long form interviews on every channel? Why? And then when they there when they arrested him, I remember hearing something that they might have had like he still had the weapon or the bullets or something like in his house and they said he had like a Tupac shrine in his house. Like what the hell? These people are venerating the dead. But here it goes right here. Davis has publicly said he was sitting in the front passenger seat of the car, which pulled up side by side to two box before the murking at the intersection. Suge Knight, the then head of Death Row Records, was driving the car, which according to the passenger seat, Knight was injured in the shooting that night. <sighs> Davis's attorney, Carl, Ar- Carl Arnold, previously told the eight News Now investigators that his client was lying when making public statements. <laughs> now he claims to be lying. Oh, oh it's, it's all entertainment. It's all, no, I was lying. Damn. 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 I was lying. And now his trial is set to begin in November. Now he's lying. This is some... This is ridiculous. I hope Wack 100 and Lil Keefy, I hope they both get the electric chair. And don't free Sue Surf. <laughs>